I know you clearly regret agreeing sleeping with me, which is completely understandable. We all have regrets in life, but I don't appreciate you lying on my name and making up a story about me. I would have respected you way more if you would have said the actual story and not something you just made up. What can you possibly say? Why didn't you tell him that you were kissing on my neck? Why didn't you tell him we had sex more than once that night? Why didn't you tell him we had sex for about 25 to 30 minutes? Why didn't you tell him the light stayed on the entire time? Why didn't you tell him that you were sucking on my finger? Why didn't you tell him that you were riding me? There was so much more she left out. I will be making a separate tweet after this so you guys could all see all the details that she left out. It's your boy Rock. You know I got something to say on Phone Them Grave. Check it out, man. Now we back again with another crazy story. R.I.P. King Von. But anyways, let's get right into it today, man. So apparently, Kai Sinat's homie, Richie Jiggy, the one that had received allegations a couple months prior, has now come out to clear his name. Now this might be the best thing to happen since, I don't know, sports? Because... If a lot of you guys are following this story, I mean, the amount of devastation, the toll that it may have took on Kai and not only Kai, but Richie Jiggy and his family was undeniably insane. I mean, to get grape charges at the start of a new year is absolutely diabolical. I mean, most people are looking at his photos and saying, hey, he did it. He's a devious man. Just look at the afro. Just look at the stare. And I did not really like those allegations because, I mean, if you know anything about Kai, you know that he is a direct um, extension of the company he keeps. And a lot of the company he keeps seems to be pretty good people. I mean, for the most part, if you follow his story, you've seen all his videos. He's had the same friends. He's grew up around the same people. And all of them, you know, I know a lot of you guys know this. Uh, what is the saying? Uh, birds of the same feather flock together. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, to call out Kai's friend and say he is a graper, that would just mean that Kai would also be one as well. And I'm not putting that jacket on Kai, nor am I putting that jacket on his friends. I mean, I just have to be really, really, really clear. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people are saying what Kai's homie Richie Jiggy did was probably a little distasteful. But I'm going to give the real. That man had to catch another charge just to clear his name from the old charge, which is so, so, so ugly in today's society. I mean, most people are not even going to believe the story. They're just going to jump to conclusions. So here's what I got to say. This is my advice to all the young men out there. Watch who you lay in bed with because a lot of these girls got ill intentions and they are trying to catch you up. So especially if you have homies with money. So watch who you be with and just do better overall. But anyways, goodbye.